Welcome back. We now present highlights of the historic U.S. election, which saw record voter turnout. CNN projects Joseph R. Biden Jr. is elected the 46th president of the United States, winning the White House and denying President Trump a second term. We're able to make this projection because CNN projects Biden wins Pennsylvania. The former vice president in his third run for the highest office, pulling off a rare defeat of a sitting commander in chief. With this victory, Kamala Harris is set to become the first woman and the first person of color to be the vice president. Again, CNN projects Joe Biden will become the 46th president of the United States. And Jake, he is now president elect Joe Biden. Van, what are your thoughts? <clears throat> it's, um, well, it's easier to be a parent this morning. It's easier to be a dad. It's easier, it's easier to tell your kids character matters. It matters. Tell them the truth matters. Being a good person matters. <laughs> and it's easier for a whole lot of people. If you're Muslim in this country, you, you, you don't have to worry if the president doesn't want you here. If you're an immigrant, you don't have to worry if the president's going to be happier to have babies snatched away or send, send dreamers back for no re reason. <laughs> this is vindication for a lot of people who have really suffered. You know, the... the I can't breathe. You know, that wasn't just George Floyd. That was a lot of people that felt that they couldn't breathe. Every day you're waking up and you're getting these tweets and you just don't know, and you're going to the store, and, and people who have been afraid to show their racism are getting nastier and nastier to you, and you're worried about your kids, and you're worried about your sister. And, and can she just go to Walmart and, and get back into the, her car without somebody saying something to her? And, 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 and you spent so much of your life energy just trying to hold it together. And this is a big deal for us just to be able to get some peace and, 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 and have a chance for, for, for a reset. And, and the character of the country matters. And, 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 and being a good man matters. I, you know, I just want my son to, to look at this. Look at this. You know, it's easy to, to, to do it the cheap way and, 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 and get away with stuff, but it comes back around. It comes back around. Democracy is not a state. It is an act. And what he meant was that America's democracy is not guaranteed. It is only as strong as our willingness to fight for it. And when our very democracy was on the ballot in this election, with the very soul of America at stake, and the world watching, you ushered in a new day for America. For four years, you marched and organized for equality and justice for our lives and for our planet. And then you voted. And you delivered a clear message. You chose hope and unity, decency, science, and yes, truth. You chose Joe Biden as the next president of the United States of America. My fellow Americans, I'm humbled by the trust and confidence you placed in me. I pledge to be a president who seeks not to divide, but unify, who, who doesn't see red states and blue states 
only sees the United States. I sought this office to restore the soul of America, to rebuild the backbone of this nation, the middle class, and to make America respected around the world again. I'm proud of the coalition we put together, the broadest and most diverse coalition in history. Democrats, Republicans, independents, progressives, moderates, conservatives, young, old, urban, suburban, rural, gay, straight, transgender, white, Latino, Asian, Native American. I mean it, especially for those moments, and especially for those moments when this campaign was at its lowest ebb. The African-American community stood up again for me. You've always had my back, and I'll have yours. So remember, as my grandpa, our grandpa used to say when I walked out of his home, when I was a kid up in Scranton, he said, Joey, keep the faith. And our grandmother, when she was alive, she yelled, no, Joey, spread it. Spread the faith. God love you all. May God bless America, and may God protect our troops. Thank you, thank you, thank you.